Hi everyone, this is my first ever video. I don't know if I'm going to be perfect on this, but uh, I'm giving it a try. Hope you all will like it. Uh, as we had decided, we are going to make crochet together. We are going to learn crochet together. So I thought, okay, let me make videos every week to show what I'm learning and uh, teach you guys as well. So before I start with the first class, I wanted to show a few of my present projects that I'm working on and uh, these are few of the bangles and I'm sure I had uploaded these before I'll make a tutorial on this as well my next video is going to be on this and uh, both of these um, are done with the same technique so both are using frames and uh, if you see these both you see the crochet knots on the top here uh, here as well you can see the crochet knots on the top uh, this does look good but it's got the rough edges on the top um, I think this goes well with the western outfits and uh, if you see these these are good for all sorts of out outfits like basically this has got clean finish on the top and all the knots have gone inside I don't know if people are gonna like it or if it hurts I don't feel anything when I wear it uh, it's pretty comfortable so it's up to you I'm gonna teach you both of the techniques uh, when I make a tutorial for this but I, I prefer this I liked it a lot because it's very clean on the top and it looks more elegant so these are my projects I'm working on and uh, to start with the crochet we need some yarn and uh, I picked up this pink color yarn this is just a basic uh, uh, yarn which is available in all uh, craft stores and uh, I picked this up for my learning thing like chain stitch or the single knot or single crochet double crochet and other stuff and uh, this yarn I picked it up for my project it's a multicolored yarn it says Karen Caron simply soft paints um, and there's a free pattern as well inside and uh, this even says machine washable and dryable 100% acrylic yarn it was like some four for ten dollars at michael's yeah i don't want to spend a lot of money since i'm a beginner and you can even pick up the thin thread if you want to many even prefer this but uh, i don't know i was never comfortable using this i felt this was much be better for beginners then you would even need some crochet needles and um, these are the thin ones I think people usually do the thin threads with these sort of needles and uh, the shawls and the other things are made with these big needles so let me tell you the sizes of all this so this is like 0.75 mm 0.9 mm and 1 mm these are the small needles Oops. and uh, these are some big ones this is ranging from 2 mm to 7 mm or something yeah this is 3.5 this is 7 mm this is 4.5 5.5 and the smallest one I have is 2 so I'll basically start with the 3.5 mm needle and I'll put this aside and I'm going to use this yarn I feel this to be more comfortable and uh, easier to work with and uh, to start crochet initially leave some length like some 10 inches or something after that make a slip knot go around your two fingers get it across 
make a loop and get the thread outside I'll make it once again hold the, hold the yarn in your hand go around your two fingers get it like this pull it from the bottom and make a slip knot and now pull it down and make sure it's not too tight and the needle should pass through and um, I don't know, I've still not got proper hold on this. You can hold, just to create some tension on the yarn, you can just hold it like this. I, I go like this. Two rounds and I put it across like this. And hold it like this. You're going to put your two fingers here, hold it here. Then you're going to create some tension here and you are just going to hold this here go around like this get the yarn inside this and pull it let me do it once again you're just going around like this getting the yarn inside So this takes a while, definitely this takes a while for all the knots to be of equal sizes. I have still not got it right. But still, you when you make this, this is called the chain stitch. Like I'll make some 10 chains like this. Go once again like this. Get it from inside. Hold it. Get it from inside. Hold it. Get it from inside. Go across, come outside, side. So if you see this, this is called the chain stitch. And this is one of the basic st st stitches of crochet. And knowing this is very, very important. And uh, many times for the beginners, all these loops will not be of equal sizes. Like one would be big, one will be small. So getting it right is very, very important. So, I've still not got it right. It is definitely going to take a while for me. So, this is how it goes. Go inside, put it outside. Get it outside, go inside, put it outside. So, this is how it goes. So I hope you guys have got this technique. If you have some doubt regarding this, you can always comment below. And for more tutorials, you can always uh, log into my blog. I keep updating all my tutorials on it. And I even keep posting it on the page. So let me know your views about this. If you haven't got it right, I'm here to help you out. Um, my next tutorial is going to be on this. So I'll keep you updated on that. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, bye for now.